Hi dear children, today we are going to discuss the second section of the chapter probability that is multiplication theorem. Multiplication theorem actually we have two cases. One is without replacement. Without replacement. And second one is with the replacement. Without replacement and with the replacement okay without replacement and with replacement we have two cases in multiplication theorem okay so consider one bag consider one bag it consists five black balls and six red balls consider one bag it consists five black balls and six red balls and I'm going to define two events. A. First ball is. Let A be the event. First ball is red. And B be the event. Second ball is red. A be the event. First ball is red. And B be the event. Second ball is red okay then what is the probability of this a p of a is equal to probability of a is equal to total we have 6 plus 5 11 balls and we need to get one red ball we know that the number of red balls is equal to 6 so the outcomes favorable to a is equal to 6 okay so p of a is equal to 6 by 11. Now, we need to get 2 red balls, right? We need to get, suppose we need to get 2 red balls. That means the first ball is red and the second ball is also red. First ball is red and the second ball is also red. Okay, that means the first ball is red, that probability is 6 by 11. That is actually P of A. Now, the second ball is red. Second ball is red. First, we took one ball. Okay, we are not going to put that ball again into that bag. We are not going to because this is without replacement. Okay, so one ball is in our hand. Now, how many balls are there in the bag? Only 10 balls. Okay, because we took one ball. That ball is red. Hmm? That means we took one red ball. Now the number of red balls is 5. The number of red balls is equal to 5. Okay, now only 5 red balls are in our bag. Okay, so if you want to get 2 red balls, okay, that means the first ball is red and the second ball is red is equal to. Here we have that word and. Okay. If you have and, then we will have multiplication. And if you have or, then we will have addition. Okay. Keep it in your mind. If you have and, then in probability, we will multiply the probabilities. And if you have or, then we will add the probabilities. Okay. So, first ball is red. And the second ball is red. This is the probability of getting first ball red. And this is the probability of getting second ball red. Then we have and here. So the simple is multiplication. Okay. So this is actually P of first ball is red. That is our A. And the second ball is also red. That is our B. And here we have and in set notation. If you have and, that is intersection. In set theory, if you have and, then intersection we will put. Okay, so this is actually two red balls means the first ball is red and the second ball is also red so actually we have p of a intersection b and this is equal to 6 by 11 is p of a right 6 by 11 is p of a now
the second one is actually 5 by 10 what is that uh, second ball is red the probability of getting second ball is red provided the event a is already happened the event a has already happened okay so this is p of b given a that is p of getting second ball is red after the occurrence of the event a p of getting second ball is red after the occurrence of a okay so this p of a intersection b is actually p of a into p of b given a p of a into p of b given a actually this is the extension of a conditional probability this is the extension of a conditional probability and conditional probability we know that p of b given a is p of a intersection b divided by p of b right from that we will get it and we will have one more that is p of b into p of a given b p of b into p of a given b okay now here the occurrence of a and the occurrence of b depends the occurrence of a and the occurrence of b depends that means this event a and b are dependent events thus events a and b are dependent events that means if e a and b are two events such that the probability of occurrence of one of them is affected by the occurrence of other such events are called dependent events such events are called dependent dependent event okay so in this case this a and b are dependent events so if you have dependent events then p of a intersection b is equal to p of a into p of b given a or p of b into p of a given b and here we have in the case of conditional probability we have one extra condition that provided here p of a not equal to zero and here p of b not equal to zero p of a not equal to zero and p of b not equal to zero now what about this with the replacement okay same case with the replacement here we need to get two red balls suppose we need to get two red balls okay total we have 11 balls same case total we have 11 balls and we know that we have six red balls in that bag we have six red balls in the in that bag so the probability of getting first ball is red that is six by eleven and here it is with the replacement that means we will put that ball again into our bag that means we will put that ball into our bag again okay so we took one ball and we are not going to keep that ball in your hand we will put that ball into our bag again so again the second ball probability is also 6 by 11 so 6 by 11 into 6 by 11 with the replacement the probability of getting two red balls is, is equal to 6 by 11 into 6 by 11 actually this two red ball means p of a intersection b the probability of getting first ball is red and the second ball is red probability of getting the first ball is red and the second ball is also red is equal to this is p of a the first one and the second one is actually p of b that b is not depending on a p is not b is not depending on a so the p of a intersection b is equal to p of a into p of b after the occurrence of a or after the occurrence of b that is not a matter of concern in the case of with the replacement because that a and b are not depending okay that means in the case of with the replacement our events are independent events our events 
are independent events independent events means the occurrence of one of them is not affected by the occurrence of other the occurrence of one of them is not affected by the occurrence of other then we will say that that events are independent events so if you have dependent events or with the replacement x without replacement experiments then p of a in the section b is equal to p of a into p of b given a provided p of a not equal to 0 or p of b into p of a given b provided p of b not equal to 0 okay now with replacement or independent event then p of a in the section b is equal to p of a into p of b okay so if you want to show two events are independent or if you want to check whether the given two events are independent you need to show p of a in the section b is equal to p of a into p of b if p of a in the section b is equal to p of a into p of b then a and b are independent otherwise that is not independent they are dependent events okay so in this case if you have dependent events if you want to extend into more than two events then if you want to extend it into more than two events that is p of a intersection b in the section c is equal to probability of occurrence of the first event into probability of occurrence of the second event after the occurrence of the first event into probability of occurrence of the third event after the occurrence of the first event and second event first event and second event okay so p of a intersection b intersection c is equal to p of a intersection b intersection c is equal to probability of occurrence of the first event into probability of occurrence of the second event after the occurrence of first event into probability of occurrence of the third event after the occurrence of first event and that's why intersection and second event Okay. This is the extension of multiplication theorem. And here P of A intersection B intersection C we will get it as P of A into P of B into P of C. Okay, P of A into P of B into P of C.